What's up everybody, even Russia, and this is a walk, a new district, new area of a district that I've been many times, but we're gonna walk from Lesnaya, Lesnaya to uh, Finnish station, Lenin, Ploshed Lenina, Square of Lenin. Guys, subscribe, push likes. I just finished recording at the uh, Europolis shopping mall, and I'm gonna release that video on my East West to East Quest channel. All right, guys, welcome and uh, let's go. Support with Super Chat and talk. Join the chat. No alcohol involved right now. It's 5 p.m. local time. Some people are starting to get off work, but many people don't. It's now pretty loud, but it's gonna change. So I'm not gonna put the microphone on because if I put this cheap microphone that I have, it's gonna take out all the real life sounds away. So guys, this is a this Naya region, metro station. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, this uh, shopping mall that I just stood in front of, it's uh, gigantic. Not gigantic, it's a big one, it's a really fancy one. Can't wait to show you. And if we're gonna go to the left, way to the left and uh, by the way that guys is uh, nowadays a shopping center but I've been there check it out that one far far away it's a really cool area really cool but uh, there's I tried to get up but uh, it's private there's no uh, entrance to the top so we're gonna go to uh, Khrushchevka area on the left, which is my favorite era. Drinking buffet. You can also buy me coffee, guys. Link in the description if you want. Yes, scooter season is officially on. We gotta go through suburbs uh, on the main roads, prospects. Let me just check what street was this. Is it Lesna? No, it's not. It's uh, Kantimirovska, Kantimirovska Ulitsa. And uh, the Snai Metro Station is that way, but we're gonna go here because I try to, with my Google Maps, Igor Public uh, Google Maps is available, guys, remember. And uh, I try to find new areas to walk, film, and enjoy. So this is, this exact street is new for me. was a good idea it's so squishy this is like a park park road so it's not maintained at all bad decision making sometimes it doesn't pay off but check it out on the right we can see a new new beautiful uh, not beautiful and not new what I'm talking about that's the old Khrushchevka era buildings we're gonna go there in a bit hold up check it out and on the left we can see that's the new ones but hold up what the hell is going on and these are modern new buildings of St. Petersburg these are the buildings you would want to live mostly. And the 
line goes right in between. So that's the new area. Maybe this was used to be uh, maybe a factory area. I don't know. It still has some, you know, hangers over there. And on the right, it's a very different story. And this is the dirt we talked about yesterday's stream. That after the snow, there's a lot of dirt. But uh, let's continue forward a bit. But it is rough looking, by the way. But this is in between area. And in Russia, if some places are like in between, usually they mean they're unmaintained or nobody's land, you know, nobody takes responsibility. Well, the government does, but usually they have more important things to do then. And when the certain area becomes a place of interest, that's when the things change. Right, check this out. Would you live in these type of buildings? Brand new St. Petersburg building. Hot. Would you live in these? They would cost you approximately, if it's a rent, maybe 40,000. That's a 400, maybe maybe 500. Depends on the square meters. You would, they're fine. Plus all the necessary stuff is here. Let's go through on the side street over here. I see old Soviet uh, window, uh, shop windows in front. I want to see that closer. I have a, usually my suspicion is good when it, when it comes to places of interest. Check it out. Yes, people could put uh, different uh, wheels on uh, that's the like storage room balconies are very often storage rooms which is a uh, different cultural uh, thing that I'm used to in Finland balconies are a place of rest you know they're like uh, separate rooms uh, almost and guys I'm not sure you're not able to comment maybe or what? If that's the case, then it's not good. I might try to maybe uh, I might try to maybe uh, at some point share. Try to go into the YouTube editing uh, app and change it. So these windows, the shops are new and good looking actually, I might say. These are selling houses, model houses, check it out. These are cool looking buildings, uh, houses, wow. High tech, Project High Tech 105. And the other one here, which one would you choose? This one. This is Barn 75F. And uh, but these windows, these are is the 70s, late 60s, 70s, 80s thing. That's the Soviet shopping streets windows. Wow, that's a cool store. So it's a, it's a cafe, all right. Cool looking guys, right? All right guys, we are going from modern districts, age of the modern districts. Lars Wilson, thank you. So now I know that uh, comments work. We're gonna go into this area here because we're gonna go through the suburb and towards, uh, what you call it? Man, I'm not able to fit here. Good morning, Roy.
Man, I don't have food with me. I feel bad now. Guys, let's find a little shop. Let's find a little shop so we can actually maybe uh, feed some kitties. That's This is the time of spring, so the cats are coming out. Check it out. Beautiful, right? marking the spot. Now you're gonna see where they live. Check it out. Oh no, it didn't go there. Знаете, в магазине есть кто-то какой-то рядом, чтобы как-то купить еду? Хочешь вас просто пять хоп написать? Ну, я рядом интернет зову. А ну вот. Я не знаю, это интернет-магазин? А, ой, да-да-да. Хочу просто купить, покормить что-то. Звоните, заказывайте. Спасибо. Садись, я. Where is the cat? Anyways, а, there he is, there he is. So he was saying that, I don't know, we are our online shop. Yes, Pet Shop is an online store. And I just wanted to talk, I know. Just wanted to talk a little bit. Hey. So the cats are coming out because it's uh, that time of year. We're going through this. And th this is why I love Khrushchevkas. All right, they're not super fancy, but this place is awesome. This is, in St. Petersburg, you don't have courtyards with uh, little forests, unless they're like Khrushchevka areas like this. They're great. And these are, no matter where you go, if it's Khrushchevkas, maybe Brezhnevkas, that 70s. So uh, you're gonna see this type of place with awesome little real trees. Because nowadays, if they build, if they're building new areas, unfortunately, they flatten everything. Even the neighborhood where I live, there used to be a proper old forest and they just cut it down in order to put some, you know, plant some new trees. You don't need to plant new trees when you have old real trees like here. Right. It's gonna get more and more interesting when we get to the big historical centers like Poshet Lenina. That is a big one. Ulitsa Harchenko. I don't know about you guys, but I immensely, immensely enjoy this. Especially that's the reason for me to walk around these places. These are all doors updated to be with megaphones. Well, not domophones, I'm sorry. Meaning electric entrances. But the doors are old, and you can see there's also a, a gas pipe going through over. That's the, in, the ingenious Russian engineering. And, and in the middle of old neighborhood, they have a brand new 
brand new building here as well. And that's like a huge, I don't know, that's a, by the way, some kind of a administration building, I guess. We're gonna go through here. The temperature is probably maybe three, four, five degrees for sure. An old Soviet building turned to a, a grocery store. When you come to Russia from Narvasai, the first, first Russian grocery store is Magnit. And nobody's been there from YouTubers. I'm the only one who's been there so many times and captured so many information. Alright guys, one of the bigger streets. Oh my god, this car doesn't look too good. We're gonna go to uh, towards Vibrusky region, Viborg region of St. Petersburg. Oh, check it out. That's uh, some kind of a local energy factory. Or what is it? I don't know. You can ask me some more questions, guys. No problem. Check it out, like I said, can you see that? Beautiful building, but you have tires on the balcony. That's normal. Because the, uh, the storage rooms, unlike in Finland, for example, they usually are not given. They're not, uh, so people don't have in these big buildings, they don't have separate locker rooms in the basement, usually. If we go buy a shop, we're gonna buy uh, some cat food. Because yesterday in the I filmed like, uh, I, I fed maybe 20 cats in half a day. And it felt good. And typical St. Petersburgian weather is beginning to show, meaning the rain. Okay. That military district, by the way, is exactly where we go in. That's Liborsky region, this, and uh, it has uh, many. Have some student apartments here maybe but then you have a lot of military academies near Kloshenli Gloria Hooligan Gloria Hooligan <laughs> I think this is the uh, Les Lesnaya Street up ahead. I think so. And I approximately know where to go without looking at the map. And it's gonna get more historical. And I've told you before that Viborsky area, I like it a lot, but it's kind of a surprisingly unmaintained compared to some other areas in St. Petersburg, even though it's literally 10 minutes away from the city center by metro huge uh, courtyards a lesnoy lesnoy prospects yes not lesnoy lesnoy prospects is the street's name here's a uh, even the bus is in rough shape but these <laughs> this is not this is ozon ozon so online shop Ozon, Azon, Azon, Ozon. It's very hard to know in Russian how to say properly. Even me, I'm a Russian speaking, but I've lived abroad all my life. So I have tons of mistakes in my language. 
Igor the cat man. Yes, I have. I'm a. When there's a cat ladies, I'm sort of a cat cat man. Yeah. I'm crazy about cats. I. There are mysterious. You see, that's for some cats probably as well. But I don't know. Not. It's rare that cats eat uh, carrots like that. All right. So here we are. This is a loud place. Let's see where we will turn. Maybe we should get across. Hold up. It doesn't look too interesting over here. Or here. Let's go forward. I, I hate to go back. So we're gonna turn later on. The streets is very dirty here after the winter, but it's gonna get better soon. Lesnoy Prospect. Uh, Les means uh, forest, so this is like a forest area. Not far from here, I filmed some bunkers, by the way, from the first, uh, Second World War. I've done lots of stuff, guys. What is always interesting is to look into, uh, look into people's uh, balconies. Because some balconies are really, really uh, surprisingly, how could I say, uh, well, full of stuff. Like, it looks like they've been hoarding stuff, but, but it's not. It's just that uh, it's been used as a storage more than others for some people. Vibrovsky area used to be and sort of still is like a, a historical factory area which was continued on used as a factory area in uh, during the uh, Soviet times as well of course check it out This is clearly a, a, a factory building over here. Some cat food. I don't want to go into that place. We're going to lose the internet. I want to see, find a small shop, easy to get in and out of. Oh, Zoo Magazine. We must go here. Do you have an entrance here or on the other side? We have to do it later because the cats mostly are inside the courtyards and we are going actually now into a busy area it's called uh, Viborski area and that's the railway that uh, goes from St. Petersburg to uh, Vibor for example and used to go all the way to Helsinki So yeah, this place is a bit shady, not shady, uh, rough. So we must, we have only few choices to get around the, uh, the railway. in English here. People are nearby. When you're crossing a 
super busy areas like this even though it's uh even though it's like a green for you but you should still look When I was unofficially going my, well, practicing for my uh, driving the car, uh, there are certain things that are really Russian like. Meaning, for example, and, and it wasn't a joke basically, even though it's green, green for you as a driver, you should still look around because. Even though it's red for the other cars, they still might drive. And that's because it's crazy traffic here. So, same thing you for you as a pedestrian. Thank you. into a field of cows. What is this? The rebel. I make more noise than heavy metal. Weird angles, corners. I remember this from a uh, from a train window. We have like a huge sports centers for swimming and some others. We're gonna see some awesome Saint Petersburgian Soviet era buildings over here. You see, you almost drove. They don't care. But you also should like uh, take take charge. Otherwise, you might wait for long for somebody to pass you. All right, check it out. Plavatilny basin vefk. So this is a swimming center. Notice the wave uh, on the second on the third floor. Way wish. Uh, balcony which is not a balcony though and we cannot just go there because these places have special special uh, you know inspections etc but guys we are gonna get to um, what is this are Russians bad drivers uh, I don't, they're probably good drivers, but because there's so many who actually break the rules, so that's uh, uh, not good driving, I guess, but uh, it's a dangerous driving. Guys, I'm gonna take uh, this uh, whoosh bike, electric bike. Hold up, I'm gonna initiate this uh, driving experience. If I get, do I have some papers here? Well, to clean you. Yes, I do. Yesterday on a night stream, somebody asked, Igor, are you gonna take me, us on the electric scooter? I can't because it's too rough, but here I can. So hold up, just a second. I'll be right back.
guys let's take a bike tour in a Vybrusky region and let's see how safe is it keep on commenting and uh, join the chat and uh, you can send a super chat if you want to highlight and support Nicer guys. Right, another Soviet building. And this is probably a factory, right? This is a school bus. Notice the old. I don't know what is this railing or whatever, but totally destroyed. This is like, a, like I said, it's a rough area. And the up ahead is Lošet uh, Lenina, Square of Lenin, a metro and railway station. Well, the railway station is called fin Finnish Railway. Soviet architecture guys so this is a sports uh, center as well as you can see different uh, bicycling fighting running football everything Turn away from this. I wanted to see these two Soviet buildings. We're gonna turn away from this loud street into a quiet one. I wonder if we turn now. Yes, we can. I said this is a rough area rough you don't see this anywhere else thinking about should I stream in the evening or not because YouTube doesn't promote my videos but I guess I can re-edit, re-release Now 
as you can see, all of a sudden, it's beautiful. Beautiful. At least for me, I really enjoy this. And it's clean again. But we're gonna see all kinds of buildings in a bit. Electric bike are awesome because your legs actually chilling but when you're on the bike it might feel a little bit uh, rough not rough but uh, you're still doing the job of standing beautiful uh, roof over top on the top St. Petersburgian weather, some might say. That's uh, like connecting street over there. I forgot the name, but uh, you're gonna see beautiful historical places now. Buildings, architecture, atmospheric Soviet or Imperial era uh, neighborhoods. Churches, of course. And, uh, very different from what uh, from which this place started, but still, it's pretty rough, guys. Yes, I like the back street as well. Back street boys. It's super fucking, sorry, rough. It doesn't have any softenings. <laughs> uh, it's, it's rough riding a bike in the city. I think I might leave the, the bike soon. Because we are now in like, uh, hold up, let's go fast. All right, the storage of flowers. Check out the details, check out the architecture. This is, this is Liver's Pavilion. So there's a, actually a monument for uh, some soldiers. Let's go check it out. And this place has a lots of uh, uh, academies. We're gonna see lots of soldiers and memorials for soldiers, etc. Statues. I don't know which color is it. Red light, green light. So that's the church we missed. We Beautiful, right? Lots of historical churches in the area. Hero. Here is a 
the zebra of a red uh, a cross, I don't know, like Soviet fever cross, Smolyak, uh, Smolyachkov. So a lot of soldiers, Red Army soldiers, and uh, are uh, commemorated. All right, guys. It's been a nice adventure. It feels like we've been we've experienced a lot. Yes, check out that church. I think it's some some, some son of church over there in front. Check it out. That's amazing spot if I remember correctly. Scott Nesbitt, man, how are you doing, sir? Great to see you. We are walking in the area called, well, we started off somewhere else. We started off in uh, next to um, Euro, Europolis shopping mall near Lesnaya. And now we are nearing the uh, Porsche Lenin, a square of Lenin. And this is historical area. We're going to turn away from this street actually also. And it's gonna get more and more intense without the Soviet buildings like on this on the left, which is clearly, by the way, I filmed this three years ago. So I really like to take new routes, routes I've never been before, and my equivalent to Google Maps slash interactive Google Maps gets better. Check out the, the wow, check it out. Check out the architecture again. This place has a nice, uh, like a courtyard, which is like uh, very typical to a Soviet factories. Well, not just Soviet factories, any factory from like 50s, 60s. So you have like a middle entrance. They used to have a guard, mirror, etc. But uh, they uh, made a, they made a, a sh like a not a shopping mall, but the shopping center out of this very typical usage as well and like I said this has been used as a factory area so you can see the red brick buildings over there from the late 1800s early 1900s probably and, uh, lots of history this is a beautiful beautiful uh, cathedral over here I'm gonna show you see if I can go, get in I never I've been there on my tourist phase, which means uh, it means 19, 2017, 18, especially. And over there, after that, the park is actually a metro station, Vyborskaya metro station. And people are annoyed driving in the rush hour. Like I said, let's be careful. Weather is warm, but the weather is very typical St. Petersburg weather. It's rainy, but after the winter, this is fine. All right, we need to uh, we need to get here. Hold up, get across so we can get in into the uh, the church. Samsonivsky Prospect Big Samson's uh, Prospect which is Avenue and these are historical old buildings so the shops are inside these buildings so they're not you know typical modern looking all right check it out this place is awesome Let's quickly take a look inside. This is historical, one of the greatest churches, I think. Slovo Imperatora Petra Velikova. Voinam pa Anyway, in the words of uh, 
uh, Emperor Peter the Great, and here's his words. Nikto ni hoda. Nikto ni mozhe bo bo bolshe, tak si ne si ti ako ne vnuju isto. Something about love towards Mother of God and God. All right, let's go in, guys. Well, as I don't know, can we go in? Храма крит ремонт крилица вход справа. Entrance from through the right. And this actually, yes, I remember correctly. It's supposed to be a gate. Yes, the main gate is here. Beautiful. And then we have this here also, are like a memorial here for uh, what is it? Uh, this is uh, somebody has been uh, put to rest here. Yeropkin, 1740. Artyom Petrovich Volinsky. Yes, blue and white is beautiful. We're not supposed to go in with the camera, but uh, I'll take a look quickly. And take the hats off. wasn't no problems but I didn't want to you know show too much that I'm filming so I didn't but he was fine he just said do you need anything just let me know but 
people usually don't come and stream these places, so I don't want to be explaining that's what I'm doing with stuff. Oops. All right, guys, we're gonna continue on this Vyborsky region over here. If you're an Orthodox, you should do a cross here. Beautiful place, guys. Памятник первостроили в Санкт-Петербурге. Right. For those who built St. Peter's, ah, oh, that's a different place. It's on the other side. All right. This is Peter the Great's statue. Absolutely gorgeous place. Sabor Svitova Samsonia's Strano Prince. Strano Prince. All right. Check out, they tear down some building here. You can see the walls. Tear down these walls. That's the spot, guys. Amazing. Amazing cathedral. But, but the thing is that uh, usually most 99% of the churches are not tourist churches, which means they are normal churches. And that means you shouldn't, you are not allowed to film, take photos without the blessing of, uh, of the priest. So uh, that's why you shouldn't. Even though I do have only good intentions. This is the house of the youth on the left. They are building a legend here, Samsoninsky 32. All right, as you can see, guys, the new buildings here, looking like this, just like I showed you in the earlier of the stream where we had like the old and the new, the line between the old and the new. The new buildings in St. Petersburg are looking more or less like this. Not as horrible as the ones in the early 2000s, but still gigantic. Lots of services, some are better than others. This place here is Vybrusky area, guys. And uh, yes, old factories are torn down or improved into new ones. This place has some abandoned buildings for sure. Just check out this huge entrance into this building, guys. What is this? Amazing. Glory House of Living went to a big farmer. It was a four, four house, three worth from the farm, helping to live in that work or farm. Scott, where did you live? I forgot. This area is cool looking, but as you can see, it's a bit rough. Is there anything inside? They're just factory areas. Yeah, parking spot. And this, by the way, is a Finnish street, I think. It has a Finnish origin. I don't see the name nowhere, but I think it is. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure it is. I filmed all the Finnish, well, St. Petersburg streets with Finnish origin because Finland was part of Russia even though a lot of Finns who don't know history try to make it turn and twist as if it's somehow offending even though the reason Finland is what it is is largely because of the times under the Russian rule of course there was the uh, also era of hardships especially in the late of the uh, Russian rule under Nikolai II but that is also by the way since uh, I really like the Tsars I think it was largely because of dumb uh, 
dumb, uh, what you call those? The ones who uh, give you advice, advisors, because of dumb advisors. Yes, please hit the like button. Guys, check it out. That's, uh, you cannot go there. That's factory area. Okay, so you have to have a pass. Believe me, I've tried. The farming countryside. <coughs> cool looking, right? I like this place. I, time to time, I feel the urge to come here. I just feel it. There's a lot of history and uh, it's the fact that it's a bit rough looking maybe, unmaintained, it actually adds to it. So it feels like it's a proper spring guys or proper autumn after we have reached by the way the Ploshet Lenina the Lenin Square I have to make some plans where to go next alright check it out this is an abandoned building yes check it out Okay, this was the Finnish street, by the way. It's called Vyborskaya ulica, Vyborg Street. And by the way, only during the Russian rule was the Vyborg added into the autonomous part of Russia, Finnish Grand Duchy, Grand Duchy of Finland. So here we have a business center huge one business center is a place if you have offices uh, companies company bigger or smaller one room or a bigger one they usually located in Russia in official business centers more or less more officially it's like that and uh, there's no entrance without a uh, uh, you know, official meeting. Some shops are located, for example, shops that are like online stores or whatever. If it's about like, oh, oh Serbian food. Serbian uh, cuisine. I should try it. Anyways, so if you like have a, a point have appointment to pick up a product or whatever that's fine we can go there but otherwise they won't let you in there's like an inspection and these are cool looking buildings though like inside they're brand new man what a what a awful weather now it's becoming a Come in an awful weather. All right, we're gonna get across now, actually. Because this place is full of um, you know, these type of factories, bigger, spacious places. <laughs> Very different from historical buildings, right? In the middle of historical area, you have this huge metallic wall. But when you continue, we have actually Soviet, also a Soviet 
factory like this, you can see it by it, it recognize it by its design. And on the left, you can see uh, an older factory that's like, uh, hold up, that's already pre revolutionary. Marco asked, do you know when we can move to St. Petersburg for a longer period? Do you mean like me? Well, I can move for longer periods if my income starts, if I get money from YouTube enough to live off of it. Not only YouTube and other platforms. That's why, <laughs> that's why your support is important. And that's, uh, and roughly speaking, that's what it's all about making hit videos bigger lo big videos that reach tens uh, tens of thousands maybe hundreds of thousands of views continuously and uh, then it's uh, memberships then it's uh, super chat and other supporting methods the thing is that uh, I think uh, well, I think we're, it's not possible on with this channel, Igor in Russia, like alone to get hit videos. YouTube has made sure it won't, but that's why my main channel is West to East Quest. And uh, that's where all the main videos will be uploaded. All right, guys, check it out. Lots of... Uh, changes here but thanks for asking typical Soviet walls used also as the walls for like a, a, a garbage you know for garbage areas I have by the way no clue where I have come where the hell am I I thought I might have walked way, all right, it doesn't matter. No matter where you go, no matter where you go, it looks great and, and interesting at least. Right now, this is a factory area. I'm not super fan, but it's cool, right? It's different. Anyway, new buildings being built. St. Petersburg is uh, expanding and growing super fast. Moscow, St. Petersburg some other cities as well like super fast all right so where the hell am I there's the senator building there actually is here I have, uh, well Ah, all right. I have went too far. One long street too far. We are on the embankment, and uh, this is Mala. This is Mala and Neva, small Neva River. Yes. So, welcome to Russian St. Petersburg rush hour. It's starting. Anyways, that far building, that over there is actually guys aurora check it out can you see those three metallic pipes that is aurora cruiser and that means that that building on the right uh, that means this uh, area on the right of me is Petrogradsky region. So we are now on the mainland. And well, or how do you say it? Anyway, and that is Petrogradsky Island on the right. 
we're gonna turn left though because i know i've been here before as well it's gonna get like this it's gonna there's uh, hundreds and uh, there's thousands of cars despite it has a beautiful scenery here and uh but there's nothing here this is like the edge of uh, i don't know what buildings this is Hi Sam K. And this is a weird design. Ah, it's for the entrance, all right. Yes. Man, you cannot, by the way, check out the detail here. That's a beautiful looking tower corner, corner tower. And that's what it's cool about, uh, really cool about Petrogradsky area. And this is typical of Iversky region here. It's full of like a factory-ish gates and stuff. But then again, there's also lots of history as you can see. Check it out. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty... I'm pretty wet. I think I'm gonna, once we've done this video, oh man, this continues. I knew this, I knew this. It's my fault. My fault. So, uh, once I've done this video, we are gonna go, I'm gonna go to some other location, not sure where. Or where so this in front of us is actually a bridge that's the bridge connecting uh, to Petrogradsky and you know what guys I don't know why because of yesterday's trip my body is aching like so bad uh, my right thigh feels like I've done like a major muscles hurt. So I don't know why. All right, enough of the factory area and check it out. So here we have a, uh, it looks a uh, Ross City, massive Rosapada. It's like a connection, uh, Ross City. It's like, a, I don't know, internet or like a communication administration or company, probably governmental. Igor, do you think about uh, starting a Patreon? Yes, I have a Patreon as well. It never got off for me, never. I don't know why, so I stopped promoting it. But I have Patreon, I have a... Uh, uh, I have PayPal, isn't it the same as Patreon basically? Except that Patreon has a subscription and PayPal is just the one once off. You, know, you can enter, you can actually enter here. So guys, check it out. Is it buffering? What a beautiful skyline. Well, my industry is, uh, well, it doesn't matter, but it, it still is marketing. And I, the thing I do with YouTube is still marketing in some ways. But I had that phase when I tried. And unfortunately, for, I speak Russian, but I don't speak Russian enough. So what that means is, uh, no, you cannot work. You cannot work in my field unless, like I mean, by the way, I've talked about in this, uh, on my Western East Quest channel with, uh, with Expat American and I talked to Josiah, a student in Russia, expat son. Same thing comes off every time. 
there's not enough if you're a foreigner best thing you're gonna get is it or it's uh or it's uh, like the tutoring both i'm not into check it out the uh aurora I could go here, but actually I should turn. All right, let's go through here. I'm gonna show you Aurora. Fuck, I'm late. By the way, this street, this street here, all you Finnish fans, Marco and everybody, I filmed this before on my channel. It's on my Finnish, Finnish, uh, Finnish St. Petersburg playlist. But this is Finlandske uh, streets, Finnish streets. Finlandske, or Finlandski Periulok, I think. Oh, let's go. Finnish, this is a, uh, it's called Finnish uh, Street. Can I actually walk here or not? I don't feel like going there right now, guys. Or should we? Should we go to Ploshet Lenina or to Aurora? Comment now. the metro Aurora I can grab a bike what about others Marco has ancestors uh, kind of St. Petersburg original so I know what you mean yeah St. Petersburg used to have the most finish in any cities more than any other place on earth St. Petersburg was the place which had the most fits. It's a huge shame that people don't know about this great place because of the media service. All right, let's go, guys. Okay. If you don't like it, it's a uh, glorious fault. There's more action on Bloshet Lenin and more people, but I guess this is better view. Oh, no, no ice anymore. Wow. Oh my God. Maybe I should go to Aurora, but I'm not gonna be streaming. I wanna be filming it in a good quality. Good quality camera. I'm jealous of this guy running. I need to fix my food, food fix my uh, things that I eat. 
fix my life. I feel happy only in, in, in St. Petersburg and in Russia in general. Lori is a woman enough to take the blame. Well, you can cannot go wrong with that. Well, with St. Petersburg. No matter where you go. I wouldn't say wrong, but uh, when I'm not here, I, I feel bad. This is my place of uh, place of happiness. Would you want to be constantly on a? Would you, would you want to be on a non like a twenty-five to five ratio on a on a work trip, constant work trip? Missing a home, kind of a home. I spoke about this before. A little bit of ice left on the, on the side. You can actually go here. Oh, these are like important people. Some diplomats. That's it. I let him go, and uh, that's his job. Is good. I'm happy when I'm the Gloria. This is the point. Roy Daniel, hello. By the way, the river flows pretty fast. So, I wouldn't describe feeling good. Being able to be happy, being geographically in the right, you know, right culturally and, and geographically in the right place for like a three days in a month at best i would not describe that as feeling good but uh you make your own assumptions yes roy the weather is in petersburg exactly exactly like it typically is in uh in st petersburg rainy that's where we came from guys we been we walked a long way by the way i'm telling you a long way it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll beautiful i'm happy i came here actually plus at lenin i would have been like i'm in a rush hour or something wild which would have been of course good for the camera but youtube doesn't promote my channel so effort By the way, ice hockey ska is on the streak of losing to after 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 Belize. What was it? The company, uh, the ice hockey team after Belize. After Belize. All right, here we are again, guys. You like this place? Here it is. Check it out, Peter the Great. Just imagine. 
Just imagine what kind of a, a contrast we've seen today. We started off in a 60s su suburbs, right? And we came from there to a historical area, factory area. We crossed it. We came to Never River and now we're in like 1800s area here, which is glamorous. And uh, and also this pre-revolutionary slash revolutionary Aurora Cruiser. How about this? This is one of the top tourist sites ever. And it says Casa. Ah, it is open. Let's check out the price. I think it was like 1,500, which is 15 bucks. I think it was super expensive for a. Uh, well, as a museum, it's not large, but it's epic, of course. No, it's. Hold up. What does it say? 500. Can somebody check what time Aurora opens? It should be open already. Ah, oh, it's on, sorry. <laughs> it's half past six. It closes at six. It's closed. What am I doing? Let's uh, take, a, take a look at the amazing Neva River. This is my first time in, month, in a month here. By the uh, by the Never River, so I want to enjoy this. Guys, if you want to see some other uh, ships that are visited. Museum ships. Go check out Krasin, uh, uh, Icebreaker Krasin on my channel. It was a live stream we visited. Alright guys, we had a long stream. Well, okay, not super long. I think I'm gonna let you go. First to sh show you the Never River. And I think I'm gonna just walk with my own thoughts a little bit towards uh, Metro Station. And uh, I think I'm gonna stream later on from somewhere else. Is that ice on the water? Yes, it is.
Thank you, Sam K. I will need to re-edit this because I just started streaming. There's no tags and nothing that promotes the video, even though it doesn't help too much. But let me show you 180 degrees of never ever before finishing. Guys, I think we need, by the way, are you ready to have a drinking stream today? My beautiful uh, St. Isaac's Cathedral, Hermitage, Church on Spill Blood, uh, Summer Garden, uh, FSB Building this one here. Litiene or no 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 Ligovsky or Litiene. Hold up. This is Litiene. Litiene Bridge. And that's by the way, that corner building is the corner of Kloshet Lenina, the place we were supposed to go originally. The most furthest the right one, this one here. That's the Le Lenin Square. Alright guys, see you soon and bye bye, thank you all.